my live turns out please let me know about the reception i am in moscow idaho and this is the home this is the home so give me a thumbs up let me know you can hear me all right and then i'm going to drive around the moscow area so if you can see me and see say hello let me hear you say hello and then we'll go but this is the home let me know what the reception looks like and then we'll talk but it is cold out here in moscow and i'm going to take you on a drive drive around moscow i'm going to take you all on a drive so as soon as i hear someone say they can hear me then we will go on a tour of moscow we're going to go on a tour on moscow it's sunday i've been working um Hi, okay, so you guys can hear me. All right, perfect, perfect. So the reception is gonna come out spotty at different spots, but we're gonna drive around. We're gonna drive around to the University of Idaho. I am going to show you the entire area. I'm gonna show you the area, the roads, the back roads. I'm gonna show you everywhere and give you some insight about Moscow. So I'm going to be your designated taxi cab driver. Designated taxi cab driver. And here is the home. This is the home. So let's go, right? Let's go. So first off, this is the back. This is the back parking lot, right? This is the back parking lot. I've been here. It doesn't light up at night. Cars are parked back there. There's been a tow truck back there for um, the last couple days. I, you know, I don't know why about that. Crime scenes tape is still up. Thank you, Truth and um, Transparency. I appreciate that. And thank you for your footage, too, on um, getting the body cam footage out. If anyone out there wants to go check out the latest body cam footage, you can check out Truth and Transparency. Uh, I don't know how you obtain that, but that's good work. But here, here, I'm just going to show you. And I'm going to go. We're going to go on a drive. We're going to go. We're going to go to the fraternities of Jack um decor and all the you know victims and we're going to go past sigma chi and we're going to go we're going to go all over we're going to go all over we're going to go downtown moscow so you can see so this car here has been parked here for i don't know and there is a idaho state trooper that's been parked out there for the last couple guys they've been here for you know since the beginning so across the street is a dumpster these are the king or the queen street apartments strolling down it's going to drive really slowly here strolling down let me put the phone down so the officer doesn't see me holding the phone while i drive just bear with me that's the home obviously you guys know officers been perched out of there for all right so we're on the move we are on the move we are going around the neighborhood so let me zero this out and i appreciate everyone that has subscribed and been following me on this journey for truth now that home there if you see it let me see if i can get over there real quick it has a at the beginning stages of this case there was see that a little black um camera and i know authorities have took that at the beginning that is right next to the home that is one 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 two so we're strolling along. This is King Avenue now. Now we've seen videos, right? We've seen videos of a white car with someone on the roof there chugging a beer. We're going to go up to it. And I'm just going to show you how close it is with an eyesight of the home. Right? The home right there. Bam see so there was there was a video and people speculating that jack decor lives in this 
or one of these two houses here. I haven't seen any confirmation of that. I haven't seen it. I don't know who lives at these homes, but there is a video of a white car probably right there, either right there or right there and the person on the roof. And well, there's someone right there, look. Someone right there, someone. So let me uh, wait till this car leaves and then we'll go. But you can see, it's clearly, you can see the home from here. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait for this guy. Let me, let me go backwards and reverse. Okay, so we are on the move. We are on the move, people. There's a car here. All right, so up ahead, Sigma Chi. That is the Sigma Chi house. Which way should we go first? Should we go left on Walenta or should we go down Taylor? We'll go this way. I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Now that home right there, that just sold a couple days after the murders happened. It just sold. So thank you everyone for the support. I really appreciate it. So this is the Banfield, Sigma Chi. You see people out walking their dogs. So if you make a left on here on Blake, this turns into the University of Idaho. There's a big sign, University of Idaho. And now we're on Blake. You see there's troopers. Now at one point there's, there was not at least nine troopers perched out there at the corner of Blake and Taylor. Now if you make a left here, you're at Nez Perce Drive. Nez Perce Drive. That is called the Farmhouse Fraternity. I'll wait for this car to pass. There's a car behind me. I'm going to wait to pass because I'm going actually slower. You see the big water, water tower. Now we're going to, we're going to go up here to Sigma Chi. Sigma Chi is right up here. This is the fraternity that Ethan and his brother Hunter was a part of Sigma Chi right here and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pull over here and park now there was times where I've been driving past Sigma Chi right and there would be a um, troopers sitting right there specifically sitting right there and I got videos of it I'll post it later there is a few cars here um matter of fact let me just out of the car real quick i just want to show you something i just want to show you how close you can see the home from here so nobody's out today it's sunday so this is sigma chi and you can clearly see the home right here you can see the home it's right there boom right there so the fraternity there's a few cars I've seen these cars here for the last few days so they probably uh, somebody probably left I'm gonna cross the road get back in the car and I'm gonna drive Stick with me because we're going all the way downtown. I'm going to take you to the Mad Greek. I'm going to take you to all the spots. If you've been following this case, all the spots. We're going to all the spots. We're going to go to all the spots. Oops, let me get my seatbelt on. I made a video without my seatbelt in one of them. And it was just ding, 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 ding. And plus, I have to have the habit of putting a seatbelt on for safety. Safety first, right? So this... 
Here's Sigma Chi. You know, they got a keypad lock. They got a keypad lock, see? All within eyesight of that home. Party there. Here's another fraternity. This one is called Alpha Gamma Rio. Alpha Gamma Rio. And there's a trail that goes back to Walenta. If you look on the map, here is the, the Botanical Garden which is, you know, right here. In the back there, there's lots of ponds and streams and whatnot. Let me make, let this car pass me. I'm gonna show you what's around this corner here. This is some golf course, it's, it's, it's the, um, University golf course And then right around here look at this big vandals look at that So you have a choice here you can turn on to a perimeter or Rayburn This looks like some sort of arena here follow this around now this is perimeter right and coming up there's a road right up here on the left and if you go back in my videos I, I I traveled this road right over here you turn left here and it takes you right to the Washington State border it's a back road right here I forget what the name is offhand but if you go that way, it's just a mile, and then you get to the uh, border. You get to the border of Washington. It's a back road. Definitely could sneak out that way unnoticed because I'm going to show you why um, going this way. There's these this big giant. I don't know, it looks like that looks like an arena. Oh, by the way, they're giving a press conference out here today. They're giving a press conference. So we're gonna we're gonna get up here and we're gonna get onto Highway Eight. So you know all these roads here do not see surveillance going out this way. And I'm going to share with you and show you about Highway Eight that's coming up here. This is Highway Eight. This is the East West Road that cuts right through Moscow. Temperature today is 25 degrees here. So coming up here, this is perimeter and highway eight. And the first thing I notice here is all the street cams. You see the security. There it is, see? And you can see them on all, all that. So if the killer if the killer came out this way on perimeter, the killer will most likely be seen on these street cams. Not only on this street cams here, but every single major intersection coming into the university on the right here, there are um, street cams. There are street cams. That's probably why authorities are not really focusing on this going west towards Washington. It seems like they want surveillance going east because here there's clearly surveillance on all these traffic. Now I'm waiting for the light to turn green and then we're gonna go left. I'm just gonna show you how close the border is to Washington and then we're gonna spin around and we're gonna go back downtown to uh, Moscow. I'm gonna take you down Main Street. I'm gonna take you up by the corner club. Um, I might even go up to the um, where the 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 vehicles got impounded you know i know where the vehicles are right now the there's actually five vehicles that got impounded from the property it's being held at a public storage lot wide open all right 
we're on the move. We're all on the move. So we're gonna go left first. So you see this, you see the cameras. It's only about a quarter mile down the road here. There is a shopping plaza here. Now, one thing I've noticed about Moscow is I have seen no local police patrolling around here. I've seen zero Moscow police patrolling. I've seen Idaho State troopers out and about, mostly by the university and by the house and by the fraternity, Sigma Chi, but I haven't seen any real authorities, you know, patrolling the area, which I found odd. How's the reception? Good? We good? Thank you everyone for the support. Thank you. I see, I see it. Uh, the donations. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that everyone. It's hard to read and um, see, now that had surveillance too. That was the warrant. But here, here's the border right up here. Look at this guy. He's telling me to put the phone down. He didn't want to be recorded. Weird. All right, so here is the uh, border, right? This is the border. Welcome to Washington. So I don't think the authorities think whoever did this went this way. Reason being because there's just so much surveillance on these street cams on way eight, particularly before you get to 95 from highway eight from 95 going west to this border, every street light has every street light has a um, camera. So look, welcome to Idaho. Now we're back in Idaho. Welcome to Moscow. So we're going downtown now. You saw it on those street lights, surveillance there. Now on the right side, coming up will all be University of Idaho property. On the left side, it's businesses, right? You see a Staples, there's a Marshalls in there. There's a Ross, there's a Ross over there. Old Navy, Bed Bath & Beyond, Verizon Store, AT&T, T-Mobile. Oh, wow. They got a Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T all next to one another. Starbucks. So they do have a Starbucks. Winco Foods, Michaels, Ulta, Rite Aid. All right. So I came, we came from here. This is perimeter. We came from this location here. And I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you. Look, they got the uh, memorial set up with flowers and whatnot. Somebody was at somebody was at the home today, and I filmed them. They were scraping off the memorial. They were fixing the memorial up in front of the home, and I was curious about that. And I didn't want to just kind of disturb because it was a female, and she looked upset. Uh, I'm assuming she knew the victims, so there. You know, I'll show. I'll share that video later. scrolling down okay yeah so you know there was somebody out there which uh you know she scraped off the snow off the memorial and i think she left a flower and um could have been a a, a friend of the victim so we are moving we are moving this is called nom nom now this is all university of idaho property on the right the businesses on the left it's not really a big town it's not really big at all it takes a few minutes really to go through david thompson i i appreciate that thank you i really do and i thank everyone else um it's hard to read messages while i'm driving but i'll go back through and and, and thank each and every one of you for being so kind and generous now this is the corner of this is Stadium and Peterson, and you can see there's surveillance there too. There's surveillance on all the lights. 
So you get into the University of Idaho that way too, and there's surveillance there. That's why I think, Marisol, thank you. That's why I think, I don't think the killer came on this road here. Look at this. This is the corner of Line Street and, matter of fact, let's go this way first. I'm gonna go here because I'm gonna go to the fraternities. I went to go, I went to each of the fraternities here. So we're gonna go to the sororities and fraternities. We are going to go, first one we're gonna go to is the sorority house. Now we're on University of Idaho campus right now. All right, I gotta put the phone down. There's uh, authorities. We're gonna go, we're gonna go six. Give me one second. This is the University of Idaho campus. I'm going to get myself up to where the frat houses are. So I can show you guys the sorority home and the fraternity. Actually, I might have went the wrong way, but we're gonna head back out. Yeah, I went the wrong way, but we'll spin back around. You think I knew where I'm going without a GPS, but I don't know at all. Now, one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed about all this here, right? This is the Charles Shattuck uh, Ar Arberton, right? One thing I noticed about this, this is right, this is this goes all the way in back of that big water tower and back of Sigma Chi. So it had me wondering, it had me wondering looking on the map, and you can look on it on the map, it's directly behind the water tower. The big eye on water tower and back of Sigma Chi. It's a lot of wooded area. I'm just wondering if if a fraternity member did this crime or whoever murdered, did they throw the murder weapon back in the woods back there? Um you know, we've we've had discussions about do you think the killer took the murder weapon with them, disposed of it in the trash, threw it down in the drainage, or threw it out in the woods. But all this area here, and it's behind these water tower, and we're coming up on the water tower right up here. And here we're going back on the back by the uh, Sigma Chi for the new people that are coming on. There's the water tower there. Now, in back of there, it's all woods and, and, and trees and everything like that. I mean, did the individual throw the murder weapon? Because the murder weapon has still not been found. And okay, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. That's that water tower. So all behind that water tower is... Um, now, we're coming back up to Sigma Chi. For people that are jump, just jumping on... For people that are just jumping on, I uh, started out at the home, so go back to the beginning of this video, and you'll see. So we're gonna go left up here. We're gonna go left. I'm gonna take you first to Jack Decor's. Um, I'm gonna take you to Jack Decor. His fraternity, and. All of the victims, they're all their fraternities and sororities are like one block away from each other. That's one thing I noticed, except Ethan's up there at Sigma Chi. Sigma Chi. Oh, by the way, before I turn, that is the, where the authorities look. You got state troopers, state troopers. There was nine of them at one point. Um, don't see nine of them today. All right, so this is this is back on Blake. So we're Blake. It's not far to the to the. Um, fraternities in this in, in this sororities so you have to turn here because that's a one way and then right down here you make a left I believe Jack Decor's fraternity is on Elm Street 
we're getting there right over here. The okay, so um, the Exxon Mobil station confirmed with me that the car was going west and turned on Steiner. It doesn't look like that on surveillance, but that's oh okay so here right here this is the, this is this fraternity right here this sorority house right here this is pi beta phi pi beta phi and right here is the sorority that zana and maddie went to right they went to this sorority but i'm hearing they left it they left it sometime before the murders you see it founded in 1923 so this is the first one we are at it's starting to snow out their sorority looks empty looks like everyone went home for the holidays all right so one block up here And now we have Jack the Coors fraternity. Jack the Coors fraternity right here. This is Jack the Coors fraternity. This is Beta Theta Pi. Beta Theta Pi. This is Jack the Coors. He went here. So you see how it's not that far from the home. It's less than a, you know, less than a mile away. But this is it. It is empty. I'm actually going to go down the back alley here. Jack the Coors fraternity right here. And I'm told that, okay, let me spin this around a minute. There is a, there is a name, right? So we heard the new, latest news, right? We've heard about this Adam Lauda, L-A-U-D-A, -A, Adam Lauda. Some people are saying he's a bartender. Other people saying that he's also friends with Jack the Coors and he... Um, went to this, he goes to this um, fraternity, Beta Theta Pi. And we, you know, heard that voice where they said, you know, about Adam, where Maddie or Kaylee or one of them, I, don't, I forget offhand, they were, they were mentioning Adam. So it's interesting. Is Adam the one that goes to this uh, 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 fraternity with Jack DeCore? Are they talking about him or are they talking about the bartender? And notice the streets are completely empty. The streets are completely empty. We're going to turn... This is Jack Decor's fraternity, right here. Beta Theta Pi. Jack Decor has made public posts, doing acrobat things on his with his head and balancing things on his chin, right around here, and right here. Notice they got a basketball court, but this this is this is completely empty completely empty so somebody's having car problems some other frat houses here uh there is a video of jack the core right there and with that big building in the background check out his videos if you have been following the case you know what i'm talking about so we're now we're going to go to now we're gonna go to two more sororities, which are right over here, which is right over here. Now this sorority coming up, right here, the Kappa, I think it's Kappa Alpha Theta, right here. This, I'm gonna explain a little bit about this sorority, right? So this sorority, the, the, according to the information that I got, and they got a, they got a Vandal Strong in, front of it kappa i think it's kappa beta data okay so this let me go outside a minute thank you carrie ann thank you thank you everyone all right so this this sorority house right here right is where ethan chapin's triplet sister is a part of and why is that important? Because on the 12th, on the 12th, before the uh, murders happened, on the 12th, on the evening of the 12th, this 
sorority house was ho hosting an event called the Betty Ball. The Betty Ball. And it is known as a fact that Ethan, his sister, Hunter, and another female attended this event. Now, I don't know if it was here or at the Hunga Dunga, which is like a brewery, because the pictures were being taken at the Hunga Dunga. I think it might have been held here, and then the after party went over to Hunga Dunga. But Ethan Chapin was involved with an event hosted by this sorority on the 12th. Pictures posted, public pictures posted around 7 p.m. on the 12th. I've made a video about it. And matter of fact, if you go to Ethan Chapin's mom's Facebook page, which is um, Stacy Chapin, you will um, see the Betty Ball post picture as their cover photo on her Facebook page. Let's keep moving on. So up here, thank you, Nicole Hall. Now up here is Alpha Phi. And Alpha Phi is the sorority that Kaylee was a member of. Kaylee was a member of this sorority house here. So you notice on the same block, you have Jack the Coors fraternity, you have Kaylee's fraternity, and you have Ethan's sister. What is her name, Maze? And then one block back, you had where um, Zana and Madison Mogan's sorority that they left. And then Ethan Chapin's, Ethan Chapin's fraternity, Sigma Chi. So all the victims, fraternities and sororities are on this street, Elm Street. Or right, you know, right off Elm Street. And then Ethan is the only one that's at Sigma Chi. So we're going to go downtown now. We are going to go downtown. Oh, and that's, that's the sorority house, by the way. Alright, so we're moving along. Oh, okay. So here's another business up here. Now, this business here got some attention the last couple days. Brian Enton with News Nation went to this business right here. And this is called Cafe D Vapor. Cafe D Vapor. And Brian spoke to um, the vape shop guy there who said that the group of girls would be inside, uh, would come in there. And they were talking about the stalker from downtown in uh, in Moscow. And they were emphasizing and talking about stalker stuff. And downtown is right over here. So you see everything is like within walk walking distance. This vape shop, which they frequent, the, the females frequent, is like a, a block or two away from their sorority homes. So just wanted to share that. We are going to move on. I'm waiting for a car. And I hope the reception is good because uh, phone is kind of spotty around here. So I hope the... Now I've made lots of clear videos and I'll be posting the clearer version videos so you guys can have an understanding. So we're approaching Jackson Street. There's a Jimmy John's hot dogs. And look, there, look, look the thing. Thank you, Becky S. Thank you. God bless you. Look on there there is surveillance there on the street lights so they have it they have it in certain spots what they don't have surveillance at at is going out taylor to the 76 gas station and then you go run right and one block to um that road steiner which takes you out to the exxon mobile and then go out eight west or eight east there are eight east. There's no surveillance through that area. The Exxon had the surveillance, but as far as businesses or, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, as far as, you know, uh, the city having surveillance and whatnot, there is none. Okay, 
so this is Main Street. We are going to be turning on to Main Street right here. Downtown Main Street. Waiting for the light to turn. And thank you everyone for um, the support and the follow. All right, so here we go. We are on Main Street. We got a little movie theater here. White noise it, it, it's it's not much it's not much now one thing I noticed now the grub truck would be right up here the grub truck when it happened was right here right over here now one thing I've noticed is you see some media already has cameras out here I've been noticing the media has cameras and they've been propping them facing that way the grub truck right there this is like a square i'm trying to figure out which way jack showalter went and you can see you can from this part the grub truck would be right there let me get out of the car there's a car behind me i'm just gonna walk it i'm gonna walk it for you guys all right so let's let's go out here a minute Oh, look, there's media out here speaking to somebody. Let's go see what's going on. There is media out here speaking to somebody. fortunate enough to live in town so we could gather, you know, her and bring her home and, you know, there's so many kids who are from farther away and their families weren't able to do that immediately. So we were pretty fortunate to be able to kind of keep her safe, but it, <clears throat> it's definitely changed a lot of like, you know, kind of how comfortable we were with her moving out and, you know, just, it's hard to it's hard to let your kids go anyway, you know, um, to, to grow up and, and have that freedom. You want to let them have that, but then something like this happens, and it's just, it's just terrifying, for sure. What do you want the country to know about what you're living through now? Um, you know, I think so much focus has been on, like, obviously this awful, awful thing that happened, um, and we're all desperate to find some justice and to have this person or persons put away um, and so that we can get some of that and we'll see that. But overall, I just, I think that one of the things we'd love people to know is what this community did is beyond this tragedy. You know, it is such a close-knit, like, amazing community with all pulled together. Um, and just, Moscow's always been that. Um, we've always been a place where, you know, you just like, it. we always say, um, 
the university is a really big part of this town, but the town itself is so integrated into that that it, it is just a huge community and we support them and they support us. And uh, with this happening, it's just highlighted that even more about how we have to try to it. You know, even people who don't have students at the university, like, we all love them. And I think that love is just going to happen you know, through every person. Thank you both so much. Uh, I think All right, so, you know, they gave an interview talking about the tight-knit community here. The food truck was right here. The food truck was right here. And she spoke, and I don't know what the sound was like there. You know, the car engine, they got the microphone. Let me just take you up here to Mad Greek. Up here. As far as the people making comments, everybody says, where's your mods and everything like that. When I'm done the video, I'll go review uh, who said what and just block them so they can't come back. So it's no big deal. No big deal. I will block out those comments. Okay. So we are off. So here's the Mad Greek. We're coming up on the Mad Greek. Looks closed. And look at this. menu all right so we're on the move I'm gonna take you up to the corner club so there you know there's not much down here I mean it's it's about three four block space of Let me get over here before I have to wait called champions now a lot of people were asking about this place here the Moscow bagel and deli Moscow bagel and deli it is open Moscow Okay, so we're gonna go up to the corner club and then we're gonna go back to the Exxon station and then we're gonna work our way back to the house. So I did a whole thing, but there's not much beyond that. And you know, you can review this video as you see fit if anything that sticks out. Again, the grub truck was right there. The grub truck was right there where that Bust the right. We are going to go right. So
So what's your thoughts so far? What is your thoughts about Moscow? What is your thoughts about this case? I'm surprised. And look, there's uh, Mary. Thank you. There's surveillance on the cameras here. Most of the area in Moscow has street cams, except eight going east from 95. I haven't seen any street cams that way. And it's interesting because authorities have went to Troy and they went to Frederick, which are towns to the east, looking for surveillance. Corner Club. Here it is, the Corner Club. Corner Club looks. Let's go in and see. Let's go in and check out. Let's go in and check out. We're gonna go in the Corner Club. Outside the Corner Club. Probably not even open. Well, they are open. They are open. Corner Club. Corner Club. One, they were playing music in there. Two, it was about a bunch of drunk dudes that smell like alcohol in there. And I'm not a drinker. I should have went in there, though. But they saw me holding up the can. And I'm really not trying to get into any confrontations with anyone here in this town. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to behave appropriately, professionally. I can say that being here, I've ha interacted with numerous Idaho state troopers and Moscow police at the house. I don't see them patrolling, but they've been very kind to me. Very courteous. Very nice, waving, don't give me any problems. So that's one thing, kudos to the professionalism of the police department here. They're not harassing anyone. They don't, it seems like they don't harass anyone in this town. Oh, okay, we're gonna go up to Hungadunga. I'm gonna go up to Hungadunga a minute. Cause I think Hungadunga might be an important piece to this puzzle. Hungadunga is right up here. And then once you get over this hill up here, that's it. This town is over, and this is 95. This town is over once you get up over that hill. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you somewhere. I'm gonna take you to where their cars are. I'm gonna take you to where the cars are being held right now. I gotta fix my seat though. Bear with me. Seatbelt strap. It's caught in here. Here we go. Bear with me, people. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go where the cars are. I'm gonna take you right where their cars are being stored right now. It's on a public street. And uh, I'm gonna take you there. Actually, I think I missed it. Let's just stop here real quick. This is the Hillcrest Hotel. I've made a video here. A lot of um, registered SOs. But it's shut down. It's shut down. It's a shut down. It has all the gates. It's shut down. We're going to go. We're going to go to where the cars are. I'm going to show you where the four victims cars are at so you get down to there it's like the city lot might be on this street here more yeah okay 
We're almost there. We are almost there. Right over here, people. The cars are right over here. All right, so right over there, the cars are behind there. I'm gonna go over to the fence because there is a sidewalk there, and I'll wait till the person walking their dog passes. I don't want to confront or go near anybody with a camera like that because they might not like it. So I'll wait for the, the dog walker to go, and then we're going to go over on the other side. So we're going to go over the other side. Look, there's the cars. There's Ethan's Jeep. There's Kaylee's um, Range Rover. I don't know who has the white Chevy. And then the Honda. So one, two, three, four. Four of the victim's cars. But then we have this one. We have this one. And I believe this is Hunter chapins or the sisters it's definitely the chapins they own that vehicle and that vehicle both have washington plates so they're here i mean i'm, I'm, I'm shocked that they would just be here like that their vehicles Just, you know, unbelievable, right? I was shocked. I was shocked that they were just here like this, laid out like this, right here. All right, so let's keep it moving. I'm going to take you to the Exxon station now where they had the surveillance footage. How's my reception? Good? Good. Hope it's good. All right, let me put my seatbelt on. Seatbelt on. All right, we are on the drive. Foggy. Well, it is kind of foggy out here. Now, why is Hunter Chapin's vehicle out there with the floor? vehicles and I question that even though he technically arrived to the murder scene the next day they're claiming that Hunter you know whoever called 911 outside the home they they called Hunter first summons Tim and he came to the scene before authorities came to the scene but they took that vehicle too so I'm just curious about that because if you arrived at a murder scene you think you know and they do whatever would they do you think they would take your vehicles too your vehicle too if you just arrived to a murder scene to see what was going on and they say hell oh, well we have to take your car too as evidence so I'm a, little, I'm a little suspect on that and would like some clarity and hopefully police can provide that on why chapin chapin's brother or his sister has their 2017 ford explorer at Was this car there? Where was Hunter? Where is Hunter? Where was his, where was he that part of where Ethan went to that night?
All right, so now we are approaching Highway 95, and there's a Sonic here and a Rosser's, looks like food and beverage place. gonna make a right the gas stations here are called nom noms I've seen multiple nom noms here all over the place nom noms nom noms now up here is hunga dunga hunga dunga and I'm gonna go into the parking lot of hunga dunga Hunga Dunga. Why am I at Hunga Dunga? Hunga Dunga, Ethan Chapin was at a Betty Ball party before he went to the Sigma Chi fraternity. And there was pictures. Now, I don't know if he, the Betty Ball, if he actually made his way to Hunga Dunga. But I'm, I, I'm thinking that the Betty Ball was held here at Hunga Dunga where it was Ethan Chapin. His brother and his sister, triplets, they all were at the Hunga Dunga. And after there, that's where I, it's unclear where Ethan went. Did he go back to the house to get Zana to go over to the fraternity? Or did he meet Zana over there at the fraternity house? Or did Ethan stop somewhere else? I want to retrace these people's steps because I think it's important. Considering that the crime is unsolved and there could be some sort of motive or interactions that any of these people had before the murders happened. Bad interactions. Bad interactions. There's also rumors and speculation that Ethan got into a fight or argument with someone at Sigma Chi before the murders happened. That night at the party. There was something happened now is that motivation enough and a motive enough for someone to brutally stab four people i i don't know i don't know the thinking all i know is you know if a fraternity member is involved whatever you have alcohol in the in the mix you have masculinity and man and machoism no local woman could have done this and i've said so I'm not I'm not so sure there. Let me spin the camera around. We are headed to the Exxon. We are headed to the Exxon. And then we're going to go back to the house. This is some sort of... This lights up. It says Merry Christmas when... Um, and drugs. Drugs involved too, possibly. Drugs involved at... You know, with this... You know, with college kids at a party. Most likely drugs is, is involved. I don't know if any... I'm, you know, I don't know if any of the victims, I don't know if police will ever release toxicology reports just to, so we know if anything was in their system. It doesn't, doesn't change anything, but it would be good to know what these people had in their um, system, drugs, whether it's prescription drugs or illegal drugs. Okay, so we're approaching 95 and... Eight. And we're on eight. Now, if you go this way, 76 gas stations right up there. But we're going to go over here to the Exxon real quickly. And then um, we'll go back towards the house. And then I'm going to go around that back way on Walenta on the back street. Not good reception. Yeah, the reception's probably bad. Probably most likely bad. So we're going, and the Exxon station's right up here. It's 
I mean, it's it's a big town. I mean, the, the population is 25,000 people. But it seems small and definitely half the town is gone for the holidays. It's a, it's a college town for sure. I don't see, I think the college is the like the number one economy here. Okay, so here we go. We got the gas station. This is where they got surveillance. And that is Steiner. This is the gas station. There was some sort of footage that got released. But it's unclear where that footage was taken. I'll, I'll explain why. Because right here is Highway 8. And the employee told me that the car was coming this way. And then turned over there. Let me get out. Let me get out. Okay. So. The employee. Inside the mobile station. Who I spoke to briefly. Said that. The car was coming this way. And then turned that way. And that way goes towards the house, the white car. But on the surveillance, it looks like the car is going that way because it you see the line in the road and you see it going that way. So I'm confused about that. I don't know if it's trickery with how that was obtained or someone take a screenshot. Let me just show you something over here. There is surveillance here. You can see. Hi. Hi, where are you? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? So, we got 2,500 people watching right now. As soon as I, my company, I, I can't make any comments because I'm not the one that makes gas prices. I just God don't. bless you. But uh, I can't make any comments. I respect that. God bless right. you. God bless. He don't want to make a comment, you see? So, but one employee did tell me that the car was going this way. So we're going to go that way. We're going to go that way now. I told him we got 2,500 people watching. Sometimes they talk. Sometimes they say they won't talk. And then I ask a, a follow-up question and then they end up talking. So I try to the very end, but I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be pushy. I want to be kind, right? I want to know, and I'm sure y'all want to know, but I'm not going to be pushy. And I haven't been pushy on anyone here, confronting anyone with cameras like that. He came out. He, they're, they're, they know reporters have been out here. They got a sign out there that says reporters call the main office. So that way there goes to Troy. That goes to Troy, right? And, and Frederick, where authorities were going. Now, if the car was coming down this way, like the employee said, then turn on Steiner. Cars this way, where's it gonna go? Is it gonna go off into one of these apartment complex? Where's the car gonna go? And they said they saw the car at 3.45 a.m. 3.45 a.m. So you're traveling this road, traveling this road. I think I made a video already. So if you want to see a more clearer video version of this video, scroll down. I think I put a title of the video surveillance and I actually go this route. And um, it's more clear. Now we are up here. 
here we go. So this is back onto Highway 95. There is the 76 station. And then right over here, and you notice there's no street cams or anything like that. Don't know if the 76 has a surveillance. They do have surveillance there. I don't know if they captured anything. Now we're going back onto Taylor. We are back on to Taylor. Back on to Taylor. And then once we get to this house, we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go down Walenta. We're gonna go the back streets. I don't know where Jack Walter lives. People assume that he lives right by the apartment complex next door. I don't know. I haven't seen any confirmation that Jack Decor or Jack Showalter live by the home here. Oh, let's go over here a minute to Linda Lane. So right up there at the top there, it has been reported why is this guy behind me? Why is this guy behind me? Hi, how can I help you? Is there a problem? You're behind me. Hi, how can I help you? He lives in the brick house around the corner. Who does? Jack. Oh, can you show me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were a hater, man. Okay, God bless. Okay, we got somebody. We got somebody that's going to show me where Jack lives. Look at that. Thank you, my friend. He's watching me. That's kind of scary. He looks peaceful. He's nice. But back there, Linda. Okay, so he's showing me here. Jack the core. lives here. I'm going to go say hi to this guy. Looks like you want to help. Your friend, right? Not foe? Okay, God bless. How are you? I'm Jonathan. Jay. Thank you. You're watching my video. I heard you. Okay. The white Elantra was parked right here. The guy was drinking the beer on top of the, on top of the roof. Really? This is where Jack lives. You can see pictures with Jack. So, Taylor. are you? Do you live here? Yeah, I live here. So, what's your take? I don't know. I don't know what my take is, man. So, have you seen Jack here? No. Or I just haven't. off the videos? Just off the videos. So the car was here because I've seen it and I made a video. It's a cr it's a clear shot. Could have walked right through this path right here. Could have walked it through the tree line where is this white vehicle now oh that's that's the question that's the that's a hundred dollar question i did databases searches on this home and this home and tried to see everyone that lived here and this i haven't found the house that jack and his roommate adam lived in adam lived here too now adam is the one that was in that house with the dog yep maddie maddie's dog murphy all right so I'm going to stroll around. You want to follow? Sure, why not? All right. I'll, I'll follow the Google.com phenomenon. Nice. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, when you rolled up on me, dude, I was like, you know, sometimes I get haters, you know what I mean? So I have to be very vigilant. Hey. And then you came peacefully, right, so I was like, all right, cool. Would have rather buy the breakfast, but hey. Hey, he was going to buy me breakfast. All right, so we're going to go around Walenta. So there's people here, he's from here, and there's people here that care. There's people here that care. They want answers. There's people in here, and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I met with four locals since I've been here, and they do not wanna go on the record. However, these locals have shared a lot with me, and they respect 
what we're doing and trying to figure this out. They respect and they share it a lot with me. They don't want to go on the record. They want to just stay anonymous. I got contacts. They're going to be my eyes and ears in this area. Whenever something breaks, they're going to go out and take photos and, and videos for me. I'm building relationships with community members here because I think it's needed. All right, so we're going to go this way. This is Walenta. That's that water treatment place. Now this could be a escape route here. That home just sold, by the way. That home there just sold. Now this could be a possible escape. We're going up the hill. And you can clearly see with the trees down. Look, you can see the home. Right there. You can see it. Thank you, Brandy. You can see the home from up here. I made a video more clearly, clearer showing that anyone could have been up here, perched on a street up here somewhere, and then just went over there and did the job, especially if they're looking for the white Hyundai Elantra. But you see, you see we're going up the hill. Now, this way here, Walenta, will take you to a trail that connects right by the Sigma Chi. Now, if you want to leave, that goes to a dead end. So you can't get out that way. But if you want to leave here, you would go this way. You would go this way. Now, we're on the back. These homes here are probably above the home in the back. And here's where you turn. Or nope, not here yet. Sn the roads here are snow packed. Now we got Sunnyside Avenue. You would go down Sunnyside. And the field up ahead, this is this is taking you out, out of Moscow. Check the woods behind the house. Of course. I've actually made one. Now here you have to, you can't go there. Absolutely check the house. Or the woods behind the house. So this is turns into Conestoga. Nice homes. Absolutely, I agree. Check the woods behind the home. Thank you, Sarah. So, you know, homes here, I'm sure some of them have surveillance. I'm assuming that authorities would at least ask, ask some of these residents to kind of narrow down and pinpoint escape route, dead end, dead end, keep going. Oh, we're going to go to the trailer park belonging where um, James Curtis Leonard, we've heard that name, James Curtis Leonard, even though authorities said he's not involved, been a lot of speculation about him. We're gonna, we're gonna go down in that trailer park there. All right, so we're here, we're here at the end. This is Palouse. This is Palouse. Thank you, Shane Davis. Thank you. God bless you. So this is this is Palouse River Road, and then that's sand. That will take you on to the Washington. So the killer could have very well went out that way, but if they went this way, you would go Palouse, Palouse River Drive. Now authorities at the beginning were asking for surveillance, all surveillance on this road. And a little bit south, too, on, on, on 95. Thank you, Raw Olympia. So here, here's the trailer park up here. And this is where, this is, I'm not going to show you the exact trailer, but I'm going to go through the public trailer park. This is where James Curtis 
Leonard was from. We'll go this way. Trailer Park. We'll go down these. Thank you, Bran. Now, this is the guy that stabbed himself in the arms, had a domestic thing with his wife, and had the manslaughter charge from 2008, nine that area. Thank you, Freckles. I mean, it's this is, I, and this looks like it's the only trailer park in the area. With James Curtis Leonard lived back here. Now, I went through here. I did a drive-by yesterday, and I saw a bunch of cats outside. I felt so bad for him because it was in the teens, and these cats are out in the cold. So if you left the trailer park here, Again, you can go back that way to Palouse. Now I'm going to take you to Palouse here and 95, and then we're going to go back to the Exxon station and then I'm, or the um, 76 station. And we're going to sign off for this round. I just wanted to take you on a tour. Hopefully, I provided you guys everything that you can have an understanding. You definitely go back and review these videos. And you can see there's surveillance up on these corners. So if the killer went this way, Lori, thank you. If you went out, you know, this way, you're definitely, thank you, small town girl. If you go out this way, you definitely, you know, have the surveillance here. I'm going to show you the police station too. The police station's right over here. I'm going to show you what the police station looks like. The Moscow police. Again, the interactions that I have with the Moscow police over at the house, they've been nothing but kind and respectful. Um, you know, there's a lot of, um, they get a lot of criticism, a lot of debate about them being under understaffed or whatnot, but it seems like the police chief James Fry and, and Captain Lanier generally want this case solved. So this is the police station right here. I'm just gonna go in and just show you kind of like what it looks like. Wow, so this tour so far is an hour look, the police station. So this is the police station. And this is where all their all vehicles. Thank you, lady tie-dye. This is where all the um, vehicles, their vehicles and all the all their their all stuff gets stored. I don't know where my friend went behind me, he dipped off. I don't know where he went. He was very kind. Gunsinger, thank you. So here's the police station. Moscow police. Doing the best they can. I feel like they do want to solve this case. And they are working around the clock. And not only that, but... The businesses... Let me spin this camera around. The businesses that I've spoken to, you know, like... Sporting, I went to some sporting goods stores. I went to a car wash. I went to some gas stations. Every single one of these places that I called inquiring about surveillance, all of them said that the police have been there looking for surveillance. Now, some people are critical because there was like, okay, they went three weeks later. Why didn't they go to the beginning? So that's, that's, there's a debate there, but they did go to these places to um, at least try to find the surveillance. They went here. And I have a video I'll be posting. The employee confirmed with me here, the 76 station, that authorities went there for the surveillance. But a lot of them are not telling me whether they have it or not. I mean, they're, they're, they're telling me that they were there, but they're not confirming. Some places aren't confirming with me that whether they have it or not. Also, yesterday, I drove to Troy. I drove to Troy and I drove to Frederick. Frederick is far out. It's like 35 miles away. And I drove out. It's down in a valley. And I went to the small Phil's Market, something some called Phil's Market. 
lady lady there the employee did not want me in there she did not want press it she was very very tight-lipped um but authorities have been reported that authorities were searching for surveillance outside that area too and i'm gonna sign off when we get up to the house here i'll, I'll take you back to where i started how about that 2500 people appreciate all of you appreciate the support the follow we're working hard to just tr provide insight, bring awareness. You know, the more we talk about this case, somebody might come forward and say something. You know, I'm not here. Let me just stress here. You know, I'm not out here trying to be an investigator and say I'm going to crack the case. That's not what I'm doing. I'm bringing awareness and giving insight and trying the best I can do to help in any way I can. Right. I'm not, I don't consider myself a cop or a detective that's going to work better than the detectives, right? I'm, all I'm doing is just figuring out and trying to do my own sleuthing and if anything I can uncover helps, helps and pass that information along to authority. See, here, here it's stuck. You get stuck here and this is the queen. It's very steep to get up this hill. This is queen. This is the back of queen. Now this is the back parking lot back parking lot here we are going to end it here we are going to end it here and here's the tow truck we'll go right where i started right here back at the house so i appreciate the follow everyone hopefully i provided some insight i'll talk again soon i got more videos coming out more clarity videos more clearer videos the reception here is pretty uh bad but hopefully it gave you some help or and and you know, we all care. If, if you got 2,500 people in here, we, we, we care. You know, we care about, we want answers. We want whoever did this found and the families brought to justice for sure, for sure. So I'll be out here. I'm out in the field. I, you know, um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in the area, but if once I leave, I plan to have make subsequent trips coming back to follow up or whatnot. You know, I got lots of footage here. I will be releasing to all of you guys you can see you know the area and different things and things like that so god bless every one of you have a happy holidays thanks for viewing and we will talk soon see you in the next live bye